Uh, the title of our exhibition is Relationships and Bonding. We carefully selected this ending because our theme is friends and family. We really wanted to focus on the relationships between them. We chose this topic because the value of friends and family is often forgotten and disvalued. It is still an essential aspect to everyone's life. We selected pieces of art that we feel the artists portray the theme the best. We have carefully selected works from museums around the world. The Tate Museum in London, the Reina Sofia Museum in Spain, the Art Institute of Chicago. All the works we have carefully chosen are A Holiday by Edward Henry Pathast, Love of Winter by George Wesley Bellows, Four of Hearts by Jim Dean, Bly by Maria Abramovic, Video Action by Vito Aconsi. We love our works and hope you enjoy the exhibition as much as we enjoy it. Our art expedition is titled Past and Present, and we have chosen to portray the transition from past to present through photographs of landscape, because landscape pictures capture the world as it looks at a certain point, and we can compare them to see how the world has changed. Our oldest photo, in more than one ways, was taken by Joseph Albers in 1940. It's an untitled gelatine silver print of Uxmal in Mexico. Uxmal is an ancient Mayan city, and the photograph captures a part of it. Uxmal is thousands of years old, so it's the ideal photograph to portray the world as it was long ago. One of our works is a photograph of Clausen Pass, which is a high mountain pass in the Swiss Alps that connects two states in Switzerland. It was taken by Sharina Shabatsi in 2011. It displays the mixture of old and new, as Clausen Pass is a mountain as old as the earth, but it has been altered so that the modern vehicles can pass from one state to another. Our most modern work include Police Helicopter by Wolfgang Tillmans and Distant Music Water Traffic by Julian O'Pay. O'Pay is a chromogenic print on paper on Perspex and shows the view of the lights of a city shining on the river. The lights are man-made but it creates a beautiful effect and shows the transition from past to present may be quite different but not completely bad. Police Helicopter shows two helicopters in the air, vehicles that were unheard of a hundred years ago highlighting another aspect of the present. The theme of our exhibition is travel. This theme is very important to all of our team members. Our first picture is called Dark Mirror. It was painted by Carlos Amorales. We source this mysterious painting from the Irish Museum of Modern Art. We feel this represents the mystery of new discoveries whilst travelling. This next piece is a lithograph by John Lewitt in 1948. We sourced it from the Museum of Modern Art in New York. We chose this piece for our brochure and exhibition for its vibrant colours this third piece is a photo from the collection Times Wide World Photos, 1919. This is another piece we found at the Museum of Modern Art. The photo is titled President Coolidge. We think this photo is very attractive to look at and it portrays happy memories of travelling. This wonderful next photo was taken by Roman Siner. It is called Suitcase. It was taken in 1983. We got this piece from the Museum of Modern Art in New York City. This photo shows fun and adventure, which is at the essence of travel. We hope you enjoyed our exhibition. Thank you. The Downfall of War. In this exhibition, we are focusing on the downfall of war and the pressure that war has on people. We choose works from the Museum of Modern Art. We wanted to show our audience the pain that war has on society through art. In our exhibition, we are looking at five pieces that our group thought were relevant to what we wanted to say. The first piece we choose is Zapatitis. It was painted by Jose Clementine in 1931. We felt that this piece showed the familiar side of war with a leader and his followers starting war with a rebellion. Another of the social causes of the migrants is our second painting. It was painted in 1940 by Jacob Lawrence, 12 by 18. It hangs nicely, which shows three black men handcuffed in a prison cell. It shows prisoners of war, another side of war that isn't well known. They are limp and chained. 
The third piece of work we choose was Echo of the Stream. This shows a very disturbing and depressing image of a child abandoned by war. Maybe he has lost his parents to war. He is crying and frightened in the rubble of his house. It was created in 1937 by David Alfonso Siquiero. This shows the grief of war and the horrible pain it causes. Our final painting is by Katy Kollowitz and it is called The Widow. This shows the loss of the people. She has lost her husband to war and she doesn't care if they won or lost. All that matters to her is that her husband is gone. The title of our exhibition is Relationships. We have selected this heading because our theme is friends and family and we wanted to focus in on the relationships between them. We chose this topic because, because we feel that friends and family is a theme often overlooked but yet is an essential part to everybody's life. We also wanted to see how the, the artists relate and portray to their own lives. We have chosen works from museums around the world, the Art Institute of Chicago, the Guggenheim Foundation, the Museum of Modern Art, the Tate Museum, New York. All the works have been carefully chosen. You'll see the following artists. Frida Kalkia, my grandparents' parents. This picture shows a wealthy family tree from the 18th and 19th century. Edgar Dissius, Dancers in Green and Yellow. This shows friends dancing and supporting each other. Cecilia Brar, Dorothy and Francesca. This picture shows sisters and their love for each other. Henry Roscoe's. Artillery men. This shows men in the 40s supporting each other at war. Francesius Welta, a family group in landscape. This shows a typical family in the 19th century, especially with the slave being shouted out in the background. <laughs> 